Hey guys, how's it going? I am just at Executive Mat Services and uh, we're gonna do another video with them. We did a video a couple weeks ago talking about their waste to resource project in a container and uh, the container was still pretty new. And so it was mostly just a tour of what the equipment does. And now we're gonna actually go see it in action. And so I'm gonna go take a tour with Glenn again and we're actually gonna use the machines and look at all the different components in the system and how it works. And we'll talk a little bit about um, kind of where these systems can apply. Um, I think this is a really great kind of technology that can be used. Currently a lot of the material that they're burning in their system to turn into hot water is being sent to landfill. And so while some of it in some ecosystems might make sense to compost, in other situations what they're doing makes tons and tons of sense. Currently um, they're displacing an enormous amount of natural gas um, they have the potential to displace electricity um, and then they're also displacing the landfill cost. So they're reducing uh, decomposition that's going on in the landfill. They're also displacing sending cardboard back over to China. A lot of our recycled cardboard or cardboard that we recycle, I should say, goes back to, to China for recycling. And that means that the cardboard is traveling here with goods in it. And then it is traveling back to China to make more cardboard. And so there's an enormous amount of embodied energy in moving that, that uh, cardboard back and forth. Um, and so what they're doing is they're allowing stores to turn a liability, which is paying to have waste removed um, into an opportunity where they can turn that biomass into a carbon-free uh, fuel source to um, produce hot water and space heat for their buildings. And there's an enormous number of other things that they can do as well. Eventually, I'll take you guys on a tour of the whole facility because there's about 10 or 15 other technologies that they've got going on in there outside of this. These guys really do understand how to create closed loop systems, which is what I love about this business. And, um, and then they sell it to the world um, and help other businesses to become green as well. So let's go in and say hi to Glenn and then let's go see this container in operation and uh, see what all the different inputs and outputs look like uh, through the whole chain of production. Okay. All right, so the last time we were here, we uh, took a look at this container and it's since been energized. Um, so we've got a power line uh, coming into it right now. Let's see. And then on the top, I believe they changed where the, uh, the hot water is coming out of it. There was a couple of water lines down here on the bottom, but they've since moved it. And I believe We'll ask Glenn where that's coming, but basically what they've done is they've put this boiler system in series with their hot water system inside. And so all the cold water coming from the city into the building first comes through this, gets preheated, and if it gets to the right temperature, then the units inside don't have to add any more heat. <clears throat> now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually go through the, the machines and take a peek at them. And so we've got our first machine right here, which is the dehydrator, where we're gonna put all of our waste in it. And then following the dehydrator, we've got a shredder. And so the shredder basically has these sharp teeth that shred it down into a smaller material. And then it goes into a hopper over here, this guy right up here, and it gets mixed and turned into briquettes and then pumped into this boiler right here where it gets gasified. Now the temperature that they're combusting at is so high that when this thing is burning, whatever we put into it, whether it's food waste or cardboard or whatever it is that they're combusting, um, if you look up there, I'll get closer with the camera, there's the smokestack and there's no smoke coming out of that. It looks literally just like heat and vapor, which is amazing. So let's just take a quick peek at that. All right, so let's go up on the roof and take a look at the uh, exhaust coming out of this system. Um, you'll see that we're turning biomass into an incredibly clean uh, emission that uh, there's no black smoke. So what that means is that our temperatures are high enough that we're actually not just combusting the biomass, but we're combusting the smoke as well. So let's go up the ladder here. What I really love about this rig is that it's basically um, self-contained. And so this thing would fit really well into um, where you would currently have a, um, a dumpster, so it doesn't take up a lot of extra space. So right down here, let's see if I can get the 
frame here, we've got our smokestack and it's running. You saw it in the picture down below. We've got fire going on in there. Let's just get a bit closer to it. Okay, so there's no emissions coming out of there. I mean, there are emissions, but we can't see them. There's no black smoke um, coming out of that smokestack there. So this is basically the equivalent to what a natural gas boiler would look like, except that we know that it's running off of waste material, which is incredibly productive for industries and commercial operations that are producing waste that are currently paying to have it taken away. All right, so I'm standing in front of the boiler right now, and this is really the heart of the, uh, the system. So once the waste products have been processed, they've been chopped up, they've been put into that hopper, this takes all the biomass that we saw going into that hopper uh, and essentially gasifies it, which is why the emissions up, up top are so clean. So inside of the, the combustion chamber in here, the uh, flue gases are getting up between 1600 and 1800 Fahrenheit. So that's hot enough for the smoke to actually be combusted. Now you can imagine if you're a grocery chain or a commercial operation or an industrial operation that's producing and paying to have your waste products removed, this system allows them to be able to upcycle those wastes, put them through a system and garner a resource out of it, thermal energy, or potentially even it's possible to marry up a Rankine cycle turbine, which they're actually doing some research on right now to produce electricity. Now these systems could also be deployed to uh, northern regions where currently materials are, are being put on the land and burned uh, open air uh, and creating all sorts of nasty emissions and toxins um, to clean up the liability that we, we seem to create as a species all over the planet by having these short-sighted uh, systems to deal with our waste products. So in a future video, I'm just going to give you a bit of a teaser this system could actually be married beside this system right here or any kind of food production system. So this is a small little urban farm and um, it can take some of the waste products that, or even products that this system produces and, and turn it into food that could then be sold back in the store. So let's just recap. You can take cardboard, food waste, and other biomasses, run it into here, upgrade it into thermal energy and even CO2 and then feed that thermal energy and that CO2 into this urban farm, which we're going to go and see on a future date, and then turn that into food, which then can get sold back out the store. Now with carbon emissions becoming a thing, um, not only are we, are we reducing the amount of natural gas or electricity that we're purchasing, we're getting carbon credits and we're reducing our waste bills, which is kind of unique. And so this company, Executive Matt, which is where, where we were at the front of the building there, has pioneered at least 15 or 20 other of these technologies inside of this facility. And at some point we'll get in there and look at some of those other technologies as well, which, which they're actually exporting to the world. Super unique stuff going on in there, which all revolves around this idea of turning waste into resource.